Some archaeological evidence relating directly to Jesus includes the excavation of his hometown of Nazareth, Pilate's name inscribed in stone, an inscription of Caiaphas the high priest who tried Jesus, the discovery of Johannan, a crucifixion victim from circa A.D. 70, found in 1968, which verifies the method of crucifixion, and the Nazareth decree of Emperor Claudius, A.D. 41-54, which forbade removal of bodies from graves under pain of death. This seems to hint at the story that circulated in the wake of Jesus' resurrection. See Matthew chapter 28, verses 11 through 15. Of course, there are numerous other finds in and around Jerusalem that intersect with Jesus' life, including Bethlehem, Bethany, Jericho, the Sea of Galilee, and a multitude of geographical and topological details in the Gospels. On top of this, there is all the evidence, detailed previously, for Luke's historicity through the many persons known to history whom he included in his book and whose lives intersected with that of Jesus. A Summary of the Evidence The evidence of the historical reliability of the New Testament is overwhelming. It can be summarized as follows. There are nine different authors. There are 27 different books. They are based on eyewitness testimony. Early, accepted Pauline letters confirmed them. There was not enough time for myths to develop. The nature of the records is authentic. Non-Christian sources support them. Noted Roman historians have confirmed them. Noted legal experts have vouched for them. Many archaeological finds have supported them. Nothing like this evidence exists for any other book from the ancient world. In short, if a person does not accept the authenticity of the New Testament, then logically he or she must reject the evidence for any other event from the ancient world, since all such events are believed to have happened on much less evidence than that available for the New Testament. Hence, when the Gospels say Jesus said it, then Jesus actually said it, and when they say Jesus did it, then Jesus actually did it. Study Questions one. What is the evidence that the New Testament documents are historically reliable? Why is their reliability important? 2. What are some reasons to trust the New Testament authors? 3. When was the book of Acts written? Why is this date important? 4. Why are the lists of historical persons in the New Testament significant? 5. What can be known about Jesus outside the New Testament?